Good day my honor lecturer and my fellow friends. We are from group 5. This video presentation will be containing about the business plan of FWD Ailindung project. It will be shown within 5 seconds. Please enjoy the video. So these are our team members which consisted of 8 people. Hello everyone, my name is Amira Binti Zulkana. My metric number is 284338. I will present about the background of our business plan. WD Group was founded in 2013 and is part of the multinational insurance company which was headquartered in Hong Kong. It is a leading company in Southeast Asia and East Asia that offers various insurance products and services. FWD focuses on improving the insurance process to be more seamless and faster with advanced technology. Besides that, in Malaysia, FWD Takafu Berhad is a company that acts as a takafu provider that provides family takafu service. Moreover, the company is regulated under Islamic Financial Services Act 2013 and monitored by Bank Negara Malaysia for their operations. WD Ailindung project is a new form of insurance model designed to provide insurance support for families and individuals. The project aims to provide insurance solutions for affordable and lowest possible tax that will adequately satisfy the consumers. The target audience for FWD Ailindung is families, reliable and affordable insurance seekers and young workers. Also, the project goal is to improve customer satisfaction by providing the best products and services. Our product is FWD Ailindo. FWD Ailindo is a term takaful plan established by uh, FWD Takaful in partnership with Malaysia's employees provided by EPF. The main purpose of FWD Ailindo is to utilize EPF beneficiaries' funds to invest in a cost efficient Sharia compliance and insurance plans. There are two plans uh, under FWD Ailindo, which is the first one is term life takaful and the second one is uh, critical in illness takaful. Next one is price. The actual price of FWD Ailindo is not simply defined. It is because there are several types of circumstances that need to be considered including a uh, plan type, sub cover and also each next birthday A and B. The next marketing strategies that uh, we have taken is promotions. In order to promote our FWD Ailindo, we tend to reach out to uh, young individuals. We also approach our family members. Not left behind, we also use social media platform, which is uh, Instagram and TikTok, in order to raise awareness and target specific demographics with informative and engaging content about FWD Ailindo benefits. The last marketing strategies that we use is place. In context of uh, FWD Ailindo, the place uh, refer to communication channel used to register in and manage the takaful plan. The communication channel that we use is registration online, which is easy to access and control via the uh, FWD takaful website. Next, we also have uh, takaful agents, which is responsible to promote uh, FWD Ailindo's plan alongside their regular offerings. That's all for me. Good day, my honor lecturer and my fellow friends. My name is Ningrum Lati with Lestari. My metric number is 282725. Hereby, I would like to explain the SWOT analysis for part 2.5. The SWOT analysis of FWD Ailindung can be beneficial for both individuals considering the purchasing decision with FWD plan and for the company itself in their products development. First one, strengths of Ailindung are comprehensive coverage with key features in benefits such as get lump sum amount to beneficiaries cost of death, financial support for total and permanent disability or TPD, lump sum amount for critical illness, and reimbursement for hospitalization and other benefits. Customer able to get affordable options and competitive premiums that allow accessibility to financial protection. The second one is weaknesses of FWD Ailindung doesn't have any maturity or cash value benefits, provides limited trader option for customer preference, and lack of website usability which need improvement for users' friendliness and navigations. 
The third one is opportunities of FWD Island attracts customer by the affordable price that can beneficial large of people that seeking for protection with range of benefits over by insurance. It can lead to expansion of customer base and potential for growth in the island market. The last one is the threats of FWD Island which are competitive from other technical and insurance providers, potential change in regulation and market downturn conditions, and lack of awareness for beneficial understanding among EPF members because of limited information and campaign. Thank you. I pass to the next presenter. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Anissa and my metric number is 287708 and I will present about the promotion materials that our group will use. We choose to market our product, which is the FWD Ilingno product through TikTok. Why TikTok? Well, TikTok is an ideal platform for promoting our products due to its large and varied audience. With millions of users worldwide, TikTok makes it easy for us to reach potential customers across different demographics. The engaging and shareable content format of TikTok is one of its biggest advantages. Users are more likely to engage with and share content that is entertaining and informative, which means our promotional materials have a higher chance of being seen by a wider audience. Moreover, TikTok offers targeted advertising, allowing us to reach specific groups of people who are most likely to be interested in our product. This ensures that our marketing efforts are efficient and effective. One of the unique features of TikTok is the ability to use live streams and Q&A sessions. These features enable us to engage directly with our audience, answer their questions in real time, and provide detailed explanations about the FWD Island product. This personal interaction can build trust and interest in our product. Cost effectiveness is another major benefit of using TikTok. We can achieve large exposure on a relatively low budget. With the right content, there's always the potential for our promotional materials to go viral. By using the right hashtags and incorporating current trends into our content, we can significantly boost our reach and impact. That's all for me. I will pass to the next presenter. Thank you. My name is Martin Sophie from Jamal and Shikari with match number 38735. I will be presenting about how we are leveraging Instagram to market the FWD and Lindong product. Instagram is a key platform for our promotional efforts due to its powerful visual nature making it an ideal medium for showcasing the benefits of FWD and Lindo through engaging images and videos. Because Instagram offers direct access to a massive and extremely diverse user base, it allows us to connect to a wide audience and effectively promote the product. Next, Instagram interactive features like Stories, Reels and IGTV enable us to create fresh and engaging content. This feature helps us to capture users' attention and keep them engaged with the product. Furthermore, Instagram offers advanced advertising tools and analytics. These tools help us to track engagement and make any necessary adjustments to improve our strategies. In conclusion, Instagram offers the flexibility and strength needed to promote and already a random product. Its diverse user base powerful analytics and interactive features make it the best option for our marketing needs. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Mukhlil Husaini Benzari, ID number 289603. So today I'm going to present the contingency plan. So for the first risk that might going to happen uh, in our group is budget. Whereby budget might be insufficient for the business to run in the long term. So maybe in the group, like we don't know, maybe in the future, there are unexpected expenditure that could happen to our group and then uh, we think that this uh, risk the severity is not very high and medium and it's not very impactful as we can the group can mitigate this risk by having a proper financial planning beforehand and then uh, the group are trying to set aside some allocation funds uh, to use in some emergency cases then for the second uh, point is in the terms of product complexity whereby there is a risk uh, where the potential customer didn't understand on the policies and maybe they are lacking interest on what we are trying to offering to them and then uh, we think that the severity of this risk could be high because if the customer didn't understand on what we are trying to sell then they think that this uh, policies might be irrelevant to them uh, to subscribe so 
uh, the team is trying to mitigate this risk by probably understand the policies about and then trying to use the proper words so that uh, when we are trying to uh, offering the policies to the, towards potential customer, customer will understand it uh, nicely. Okay, so that's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Muna Atara binti Muhammad Suhaimi and my metric number is 28443. I will continue with the next contingency. In our marketing efforts, we are aware that some people might question the reliability of our product. This concern is particularly relevant because FWD is still relatively unknown to many potential clients. We consider this risk to be of medium stability. To address it, we are focusing on creating and sharing valuable content that highlights the brand's strengths and benefits. We are also using various platforms to reach a broader audience, helping to build trust and recognition for FWD. In our efforts to improve the team communication, we recognize the potential risk of this communication among team members as they were under project. We have created uh, the risk as major. To mitigate it, we are using effective communication tools to ensure smooth information flow with WhatsApp as our primary medium for quick updates and coordination. Additionally, we are holding regular discussions through online video calls to enable real interaction, clarify doubts, and keep everyone aligned on project goals and tasks. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Karina Zira binti Kamarul Zaman and my metric number is 286428. So now, I will explain to you guys about our budgeting through our, our efforts to promote FWD insurance. Firstly, our group has received 100 ringgit as our initial capital. So we use two types of uh, expenses and the first one is marketing expenses. We plan to promote insurance using two types of social media platforms, which is Instagram and TikTok. For Instagram, per click per day is 5 ringgit. So we plan to make for 8 days straight and the total is 40 ringgit. Next, for TikTok, we plan to pay 12 ringgit to get 1,800 plus views per day. So we plan to pay TikTok for 2 days and the total is 24 ringgit. Next, the cost of meeting with clients. Our budget for beverages is 50 ringgit, cost of petrol is 10 ringgit, and cost of coal is 10 ringgit too. Thus, the total that we estimate to use is 99 ringgit, and there is a balance of 1 ringgit. That's all from me. Thank you. Thank you for your time and attention to listen to our video presentation.